Hey everyone, Andrew here. So we decided to take the Christmas week off from the main pod and it actually worked out because Raw was just a best of 2022 show and I tried to watch an hour of that and I almost blew my brains out. So since we aren't releasing a main episode this week, I thought why not, for the first time ever, put out a Patreon episode for free! We do many brackets on Patreon, and the worst promo bracket from 2019 uh, is my favorite. So to all of you who have never subscribed to our Patreon, maybe this will convince you. This is only the audio version, but if you want to watch these awful promos with us, then you can subscribe at patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. It's only $5 a month, and we have over 30 other brackets, including a second worst promo bracket. We also do weekly AEW recaps, classic episodes of Raw, SmackDown, and pay-per-views, movies, and a lot more. Trust me, there's a lot of content on this thing. You're going to like it more than Disney+. Plus. So I hope you sign up, give it a try, but for now, enjoy the worst promo bracket. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of What's Wrong With Wrestling. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with my brother Joe Pisano and Eric Slamilton Hamilton. Bracket! 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 I want it to be like wild card. Bracket! Yeah. Yeah. Bracket Boom. time. What? You like brackets? Well, here's another one. Bracket. Maybe, potentially, the greatest one. I mean, we say that about all of them, but this one's probably it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's got its best pre-show ranking out of all the brackets. Yeah. yeah. So let's see if we can it's already live up to the hype. pretty high on Metacritic. We're yeah. going to find out. <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes has a pre-show ranking we're gonna of 90%. F- we're going to find out what is the worst wrestling promo of all time. Worst. Wrestling yes. Romo. Well, or I did best that. Per- the worst? I, I botched it on purpose. Uh, I know. Because it's all about botching. You should nice. type it like that when you <laughs> upload <laughs> yeah. it. Wrestling right. Romo. Uh, yeah. For, you know, that's it's, uh, what we're going to do. It's yeah. going to be a lot and of fun. And this is a 33 team double in the no, elimination, no, no, no. <laughs> single elimination tournament. No, yeah. you're confusing everyone. This You're making yeah. this bracket complicated. And this is for the 48-7 European television title. You That's shut right. your mouth. <laughs> That's right. No, this Ten should be a lot of fun. 10,000 yard, 10,000 yard seasons. It's the top 32 <laughs> worst promos. Um, some of them, you know, we, we took a lot of, I took a lot of insight from our fans. Like, what do you want to see on here? Right. Yeah. Uh, I pretty much only included ones that are funny. Right. Like some yeah. wrestling promos are just bad, but they're not funny. Yeah. So I only included ones that you know. I is Mike were Adame funny. on here? Oh, he is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I see. I see your hero He's on gonna here. He's going to go really quite far. A few times. My yeah. hero. Your hero. Give me a break. I don't see Shawn Michaels anywhere. <laughs> Come on, brother. <laughs> yeah. So well, um, let me botch something for you, brother. <laughs> He's been there the longest. He's going to make the most mistakes, Eric. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um, all right. All right. Yeah. So uh, you want to kick things off? Let's just get right into it. Yeah. I can only imagine what the first one is. Well, the first one is a first-round matchup between Triple H and Hulk Hogan, yeah. two of the all-time greats. Uh, and they had a title matchup also that should be somewhere in Botchamania as That's well. That's <laughs> maybe true. But, uh, Andrew, the first one is Triple H, and I think this was when they were in Denver. This is when they were in Denver, Raw 2015. Oldie but goodie. Take yeah. a listen. How many of you want to see Roman Reigns face Seth Rollins for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship? Then you're going to get it! <laughs> Just not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I told you they'd bite. I mean... I get it, we're at altitude, but hi, how are you, people? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but hi, how hi, are you, hi, people? how are you, and people? At, at the end, where like, it freezes, it looks like he just realized that he's he like, fucked up. But I get it, we're at altitude, but hi, how are you, people? But hi, how are you, people? How, no, really. How high am I? <laughs> but Triple H, I mean, look, buddy, you've, uh, you've given us some great promos throughout the years. We're just picking on you a little bit here. Yeah, uh, that's the first one. And then Hulk Sodom. This is uh, this is Hulk Hogan 
from uh, uh, this was the Royal Rumble in 1991, mm. uh. and he's talking about Sergeant Slaughter and Saddam oh. Hussein, and he forgets Saddam Hussein's name. Oh God, this is so great. We are getting, and I can't believe this, an unconfirmed Ninja. report that the new World Wrestling Federation champion, Sergeant Slaughter, has just defaced the American flag. <laughs> now, that could just be a rumor. No, 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 Mean Gene, let me tell you something. Sergeant Slaughter stealing the WWF title is one thing. But if Sergeant Slaughter has gone so far to deface Old Glory, to deface the red, white, and blue, brother, I don't care if it's legal or not, brother. Sergeant Slaughter, that would be the fate that would seal you in for good. And no matter what happens, Mean Gene, Sergeant Slaughter's reign as the WWF champion is going to be just like... Uh, I can understand. You know what, brother? I know exactly Sudan what... is going to be just like Sudan Hussein's reign over Kuwait, brother. It's going to be only temporary. <laughs> Sudan? Sudan Hussein Frain. Hussein Frain? Go back a little bit. I can understand. You know what, brother? I know exactly Sudan what... Sudan is going to be just like Sudan Hussein's reign over Kuwait. No, brother. Sudan it's Hussein's reign. Reign. Oh. Like his reign. Over Sedan. <laughs> Only temporary, <laughs> brother. He's like, it's just going to be just like, uh, you know what I'm talking about, brother. Jeez. It's going to be just like Hyundai Sedan's brain. <laughs> like, how, how fucking, like, if they're practicing it, right? Yeah. Like, how hard is it for them to just, like, hold up a sign? <laughs> this is what it is, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, he, hey, dummy. How did he not know? <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, and like well, literally spell it phonetically like I did, like shoot. Way to not <laughs> offend anyone by saying you can't burn an American flag. I don't care if it is legal; it's perfectly legal. <laughs> I just, I mean, I'm Hulk, and I, I don't like it, but it's completely legal, brother. <laughs> yeah, why do you have to say that? <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't care if it is legal. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Back yeah. then, I think they were debating the merits of burning the American flag. Right? Probably. Yeah. Everything yeah. happened. But... So before we vote, yeah, we didn't talk about how we're grading this. Mm. Oh, okay. are we like because I think we should talk about that. I think it should depend on how funny it is. Maybe like how, how many big times, of a mistake it is. How big of a mistake it is. How many times they messed up. Right. You know how many? Oh, in that promo. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, these were both like one mistakes, but like some of these have multiple, multiple mistakes. Right. So. I mean, I think here the clear winner is Hulk Hogan because you couldn't remember the name of the... This guy was like the biggest enemy in the world at the time. Wait. And you couldn't remember his name. He's the focal point of your promo. Yes. Uh, I think we just had a, a podcast first where Eric voted for Hulk Hogan on a bracket. Voted for Hulk Hogan. <laughs> well, this is... And Andrew, I think it's going to happen a lot. <laughs> yeah, because this is the biggest screw-up, you know, basically. I, I think I agree with Eric because Triple H, like, you know, I think he could have fooled a lot of people with that, and some people didn't catch it, you know? Right. Because uh, if you play the rest of that, the Denver crowd, like, laughed. Right. Yeah. So they heard, you know, how high are you people... You know, they didn't hear "Hi, how are you?" Like or they most laughed of them. at his fuck up. I mean, I can see that. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I think this is Hulk. the Hogan one yeah. is, is way more obvious. This is Hulk because there's so much energy behind it too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, rah, 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 rah. Yeah. Well, we're listening with headphones. If you're listening with headphones too, you can hear his deep breathing where yeah. he's like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. All oh, right. So, uh, what's next? All right. So next we have Kalisto. Kalisto making the bracket. Yes. Yeah. Versus Ahmed Johnson. Ooh, I, I don't know if either of these. I think I might know which one Ahmed's is, but yeah, I'm excited yeah. to see. Okay. So this is. I think I slightly remember this. This is from SmackDown 2016 uh, during the uh, when they had the draft, and Kalisto got drafted to SmackDown, and uh, this was his promo. What can we expect from you on SmackDown Live? Well, hey, I'm here, like I said before, I'm here to shock the world. I'm ready. I'm ready to show my lucha art inside and outside the ring. But first of all, I can't stop thinking about Baron, Cor Baron Corbin being on SmackDown. <laughs> I get to have my revenge. Is that a scare? Hey, like I said, I'm here to stay. Make, make, a, make a, a, a good, good lucha, lucha thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, I, I'm a here good, to make a, a good, good a good lucha thing. A good lucha thing. And then well, I'm gonna play it again because then he goes, "God damn!" And he, he watch does. This. Yeah, he's not on TV. Make, make a, make a, uh, a good, good lucha, lucha thing. 
Look at the face of the uh, like, yeah. <laughs> Fast forward a few years later, and Kalisto's on 205 Live with a Lucha House Party. Yes. Yeah. So that wins. Do we have to listen to the other one? He's made a lot of good Lucha <laughs> things lately. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is Ahmed Johnson. Uh, hold on. I want to pull up the info on this one. Uh, this was Raw October 27th, 1997. And he's cutting this promo on Stone Cold. I don't know what Stone Cold did to him, but he's mad at Stone Cold. Take a listen. You've lost him. 316. What you did by putting your hands on me was entered the zone. My zone. See, my zone is kind of like an end zone. Once you're in there, you score. So you just scored on me. So now it's my turn to score on you. So Monday night, look out. Because I'm coming to get you. Jeez. So, <laughs> wait, let me, let, me, let me get this straight. He scored on him. He scored on his <laughs> So now he's going to score all over Stone Cold's face. Stone Cold scored on his end zone. I think. I think. And now this, he's coming. I think this is what made Vince McMahon <laughs> crying. <laughs> and now I'm coming all over your end zone, Stone Cold. <laughs> so bend over, cause I'm coming to fuck you. Man, that attitude era was raunchy. I think Vince. I think this is what happened. Vince McMahon saw this and was like, "Damn it, I need writers." <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Yeah, Ahmed, just just cut a promo. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Just talking about football or some shit. <laughs> I mean, all right. Well, they... I thought we had a winner, zone. but clearly the I end, was wrong. The end zone. No, I'm torn. Yeah, it's torn. Uh, the Kaliso thing was such a botch. Uh, yeah. Technically, he didn't really botch. It no. just was a horrible promo. He, yeah, exactly. He just sucks at promos. Right. right. But now yeah, this doesn't have to be a botch bracket. It's just a bad promo bracket. There, there's yeah, there's there's only like five probably that are just straight bad promos, but they're so bad that I you had to put yeah, them in. Right. I'm vote I'm just throwing it out there. I'm voting for Kalisto. I think it was Kalisto. such a fuck up. Yeah, right. And he's so screwed up. Right. I'm not Johnson's the bad character. I just, I'm, here, right. I'm here to do a lucha. I, thi- I hate to, things. I hate to not vote for something that made Eric cry. I know, but it's Kalisto tr- for me. It definitely was the funnier one. Yeah. yeah, but the Kalisto one was more of a screw up. Yeah, for let's sure. go with Kalisto because you can't ignore that one. Right. Like you could fool some people with that Ahmed Johnson promo. Right. Be like, scored. yeah, that was good. He was angry. You scored in my end zone. <laughs> you got so... in my end zone. In my now end. I'm going to get in your end zone. <laughs> I'm coming for your end zone. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming for you, Hogan. There's also, there's also um, from the first WWF like Warzone game on uh, the 64 and PlayStation. Yeah. Where they would, on the PlayStation version, they had video promos. And I know you saw it, but this was like 20 years ago. Because I showed it to you, but they all cut these like promos, and uh, for like a lot of them, they were just reading cue cards. Like Farouk, you just see he's like, "I'm coming to whoop you, kid," and you're not gonna know what's going on. But Ahmed Johnson was just like, you, he was screaming, and they were in this building that like just had this horrible echo. Like, where do they record this? And you can't even understand what Ahmed Johnson is saying. He's just like, oh, what do you want me to do? And like, it's just it's hilarious. No, it's all on YouTube. You can watch it. That's funny. All right, so uh, next up. We have a Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Don't know who that is. Yes. But I guess it was on an all-time worst promo bracket or list that Andrew found. Uh, I actually heard about this because of Bill Burr. Uh, this was like, he was on uh, Opie or Anthony like 10 years ago, and he brought this promo there. And uh, this is, I guess, from the 80s or something. I don't, I don't even know when this was, but it's right. so fucking Let's good. Let's play it. All right, here we go. Folks, there's Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Jeff a while back, what a match you had with Motley. Yep. <laughs> Probably the hardest match I ever had in my life. But I don't like it when things aren't my, going my way. Motley Cruz, you turned the tables on me. You turned the tables in a wrong way. You got me mad now. I've stood around. I've listened to everything you had to say. I have did everything necessary. But when you turn around and you backstab me one way or another, and you treat, cheat me out of what's rightfully mine, that's when I get angry. 
Now I'm the one doing the challenging. I'm issuing a challenge to you, Motley Cruz. Get in the ring with me. This time, I'm going full force. Jumping Jeff Farmer. <laughs> now let's go to the He's angry? What? <laughs> I got angrier because I woke up like uh, with my hair bad this morning. Like, it's how bad is his? Like, did he just get done with the match because he's like, <sighs> Motley Cruz? <sighs> yeah, <sighs> I'm turning the tables on you. <sighs> and the it's interview not even was that like, intense. That no. it's the most unconvincing promo. Yeah, seriously. And what's with the interviewer like not being able to open his mouth all the way? <laughs> I, I love the beginning. <laughs> the beginning's the best. The beginning's the best part. He's like, "What a match you had." He's like, "Yep." Yep. And then yep. Say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, there's jumping Jeff Farmer. Jeff, Farmer. a while back, what a match you had with Motley. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wait a minute. Oh, that, I'm supposed to keep talking? Is that, is that a young Jim Ross? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 My God, jumping Jeff Farmer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I was going to say Oscar, but no, Oksana. Oksana. Yeah. Oksana. Oh, I, yeah, okay. Oksana, right. She managed um, Cesaro there's a for few- a little bit. She did, yes, yeah, Cesaro, yeah. that's right. Uh, this was when she was on NXT competing to, you know, to win on NXT back when it was like, you know, reality show based. Yeah. And, and this was her, this is like the second half of her promo. You see, Aksana here, not by mistake, Aksana here because she follows her dreams and her heart. She's beautiful, she's smart, she's talented, she's gorgeous. Ir aš galiu kalbėti valandų ir valandas, kokie aš gražiausiai, nustabiausiai įdėliausia moteris. She loves her dog, she loves to go to the gym, and her favorite color is black and gold, like her pro. <laughs> the second generation superstar, gold dust. Universe, let me entertain you. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Bam. And we're Xing that out of there. So somehow let- all of those women made it yeah. <laughs> onto TV. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, every one of them. You had Caitlin in there. You had AJ Lee. Well, I don't know who the girl in front of uh, Alicia Fox was. And then didn't they um, make yeah, her no, hair? Kind of, uh, they made her Nikki, hair black, right, before they debuted her? But she was a pro. Oh, Nikki so I guess pro, Vicky, right. Goldust, Alicia Fox, yeah. Nikki right. Bella, they were pros. Yeah, so Caitlyn so, and AJ. Oh, they were yeah. contestants, right? Yes. Who's right behind Oksana? We, I, don't know who that, I don't know who that is. We never saw her again. Yeah. You, <laughs> let me entertainment you. <laughs> WWE audience, let me entertainment you. And then let you can score all over my face. <laughs> and this one's and then, hard. Then she turns the wing, she's like... Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm going with jumping Jeff Farmer because yep, yep, <laughs> yep, because yep. he's yeah. a wrestler and like he's actually a wrestler. Oksana's right. can, not. No, but that's back when like they were like, oh, you want to be a, a wrestler? Oh yeah. yeah, come on. What? Well, what's Get your background? Sky on camera. You were a bikini model. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, well, we mean, can like, teach you how to fall down and I'm, get your hair pulled. I'm I mean, that's not a problem. Farmer, like, apparently, so jump, ago, like, jumping no Jeff cared. Farmer apparently became the fake Sting uh, in what? Uh, WCW. What? what? Yeah. You just blew my mind. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. They're like, are, are you that's the real Sting? And he's like, yep. <laughs> yep. All right, Farmer. Oh, I'm, I'm convinced. Farmer moves on. Yeah. All right. Farmer. So I have, uh, in this next one, uh, Sid... Uh, brain. So I guess this is uh, this is yeah, this is the one where he tries to or Sid Justice. Sid I'm Justice. stupider than you. And then <laughs> versus uh, Lillian Garcia. And I, I take it that you have Lillian Garcia on here from last night when they played the national anthem, and it was just an old recording of Lillian singing <laughs> the national really? anthem. That's weird. I shit you not. Yeah. All right. So uh, here, let's go with uh, Sid first. This okay. was in WCW back in the day. Yeah. And he's yelling at Kevin Nash. Oh my god! And Scott Hall and Kevin Nash has like a prosthetic makeup to make him look like just the ugliest version of Sid. And let me just say before you play it, I see that you have like um, you know rankings or seeds on here, and you probably just did it randomly. I did. This would have been like a number one seed for, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. This because this has the potential. To go let me just far. say. He uh, Sid has since quoted and said that uh, this was how the promo was written. He Bullshit. claims he didn't screw up. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's the face here. He's yeah. the right. face. Yeah. So uh, here, here it is. See this? You 
to wear any Halloween costume you want to. But you know and I know that you are only half the man that I am. Okay, so far so good. And I have half the brain that you do. <laughs> The look. Wait, they're laughing. <laughs> Kevin Nash. They're trying to make me look like a jackass. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I think you did that yourself, buddy. I have half the brain that you do. <laughs> and then he just Clearly. looks at him. He's like, Clearly. Fuck. <laughs> That's a hell of a makeup job in the ring by right. Nash, too. Seriously. And it's being so Sid. fucking gross. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So the next one is Lillian Garcia. This was Raw. Ooh, we got an oos. Raw 2016 when she introduced the Usos. The following tag team contest is give a four one fall. Introducing first from San Francisco, California, at a combined weight of 479 pounds, Grammy Award winning tag team of the year, Jimmy and Jay <laughs> the Usos. Wow. They won a Grammy? Gra- they're Grammy Jesus. Award winning. What the hell did they do? Uh, their Uso entrance. She meant <laughs> Down slammy. since day Obviously one. Yeah. 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 Grim. I remember when she did that and we had a field day on the podcast yeah, yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's fun looking back at like some of these more recent moments when we were doing the podcast. Yes. And just remembering like tearing it to shreds. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. Right. Um, so in this one, I've, I've got Sid. I mean, it's probably one of the funniest mess ups ever. Yeah, you know, because it, it's the best of both worlds. It's it's a it's kind of a bad promo as it is, right? But then he just messes it up, and it's hilarious. Sid, yes. Sid's winning, yeah, yeah. For in sure. the it's in the Sid. fact that Hull and Nash, you know, just start laughing at him. I mean, what do you do? Right? right. Yeah, so good. Yeah, Sid for sure. So far, we've swept every one. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's see if we can keep this up. Okay, so now we have uh, <laughs> Roman story time. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's uh, see what this is This about. was back in 2015. Yeah. And it's just, it might be the worst written promo of all time. This is when they were really trying to push Roman and Vince writes this promo for him. Yes. And it's just the worst. Oh, yeah. Take this a listen. Bad. Can I tell you a story, Big Show? He just goofy as fuck. It goes a little something like this. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there was a little boy. Named Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns, see, he had magic beans. You can and stop. those magic beans sprouted a giant <laughs> beanstalk. Yeah, he's a giant. We so little old Roman, he climbed that beanstalk. And do, would you like to know what he found? And, and you... No wonder everyone fucking hates this guy. Right. Yeah. This seems this Sorry. seems like it's trying to be like one of the Rock's promos. Yeah. When the Rock was just absolutely golden. Right. Yeah. The Rock could say anything and people would go nuts. All right, let's let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> he found a goose that lays golden eggs, a magical harp and a whole pile of golden coins, but oh no. Oh my God. There was a giant protecting all that treasure. So Roman Reigns, Roman <laughs> Reigns said, screw the treasure. I'm going to kick this giant square in the mouth. Wham, bam, thank you, man. The giant's teeth are down his throat. Big Show's like, I just have to stand here and listen to this. Right. <laughs> and as the giant was picking himself up, Roman, he prepared for the fight of his life. But the poor little giant, he walked away all cowardly. (sighs) Proving that he is the only loser in the entire kingdom. And that whole part about being a loser, yep. I'm talking to you, pal. Yeah, oh, 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 oh thank really? You, thank you for clarifying. There's that. a giant. For real? Right. He said, so he said, "Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am." That's a sex comment. Yeah. <laughs> wham, bam, hey, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, for exactly. Sex. Yeah. So what was that in there? For? This clearly, this is what was happening in Gorilla. Everyone's just looking around, like, "What the fuck?" What and then it ends, on? and Vince is like, 
That was good shit. That was, that was tremendous. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was such good shit. Oh, I'm a so genius. Funny. I'm a genius. <laughs> oh, so funny. God. <laughs> oh. This is when they first were like, Vince has lost it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He don't have it anymore. I wrote this. I wrote this promo myself. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, so next we have Jack Swagger. Let's see yes. what he has to say. This is when Jack Swra- Swagger. Swagger. Uh, I'm doing my own impression of the Jack all Swagger. American, American, American. Yeah. yeah. He. Uh, this Not is sure. when he jumped to SmackDown in 2016. And he starts this promo. It's just, it's all, it's really awkward. Just listen how he starts it. For no reason, he yells this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rolling Stones! What? what? Huh? Call me Jumpin' Jack Flash because of it. 1201 this morning, SmackDown Live is my new home. <laughs> it's so goofy. I'm a Division I All American, a former heavyweight champion, and I have one stone cold fox of a wife. Whoa! <laughs> Who is it, dude? I mean, she's hot. I look Now, you may think you know my abilities in this ring, but I promise you, you don't know Jack. Uh. From this point on, forget <laughs> everything that you think you may know. SmackDown Live is a land of opportunity, and I'm going to be a big problem, man. <laughs> I'm going to be a big problem. Uh, so, A, I guess this is when he was going through his J.J. Watt phase. <laughs> yeah, right. Because he looks just <laughs> like him. Jesus. Yeah. But, and then I think he got Future Endeavor the, like the next day. <laughs> <laughs> you can go, Jack. Seriously, I, don't, I think go. this is one of those cases where we never saw him again. Right. right, where he does this promo, and then he's Vince like, was, "I'm on SmackDown. <laughs> I'm gonna rule with an iron fist." And then Vince was like, "Nope, that was horrible." Yeah, <laughs> even it's by my This is a hard one, standards. guys. These are but both like, pretty bad. Yeah. Why does he say, "Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rolling Stones"? Right, because Jumpin' Jack, Jack Flash, Flash is one of their songs. Yeah. But, but why still. does he say that? Yeah, because <laughs> his name is Jack. <laughs> I don't know, Andrew. Stop asking me questions. <laughs> right, he's a crazy idiot. All right, so this one, I've, I've got to give it to Reigns. It was long. It was boring. It went nowhere. Like, Swagger messed up more. Yeah. Right. But the Roman promo, it's just, it's, it's so horrendous. horrendous. And then it, even at the end, it's like, oh, I'm talking about you. Yeah. yeah. No fucking shit. No shit. You mentioned Giant like seven times. I think the yeah. four-year-old kids that are watching know you're talking about the big show. Right. Yeah. All right, so uh, next matchup, we We're have... Sweeping Roman? Hold on, wait. You, oh, I'm sorry. You're I'm the sorry. only one who voted. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> so I picked Roman, and no, that went through. I'm pretty sure we're all sweeping. Right, next, uh, next what round. Is, hey, what is this, the Divas bracket all over again? Hey, yes. you know what? Fuck your sheet. I picked Jack Swagger. <laughs> Andrew? <Yeah. No>. Pizza? <laughs> uh, I'm, no, I'm fine with Roman. Yeah, Roman. Yeah, yeah, yeah Roman. Roman. Come on. <laughs> I know you guys too well at this point. <laughs> All right, you vote for us moving forward. Let's see what you <laughs> All right, that works for me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so our next matchup, we yeah. have a young Michael McGillicuddy. Does everyone know who Michael McGillicuddy is? Slash Curtis Axel. Slash Kurt Henning. Kurt Henning. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Kurt, Kurt Henning. Henning three names. Yeah. Three names in yeah. 10 years. Yeah. So this was in NXT um, in uh, 2010. A couple yeah. days before the B team was First formed. of all, let's just say I love Lay Cool with the split title right. there. That yeah, was, they got the I split love titles. That. Yeah. And uh, just, you know, take a listen or take watch listen. it. I am the future of this company. I am going to be a big time player in this machine called WWE. I am the next big thing. I am the next generation. And starting this moment from now, from this moment on, yeah. this will be the moment <laughs> starting now <laughs> of the genesis of Magilla Cuddy. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez, he, he said moment that over th- five times. Yeah, he, he said moment three times and now two times, I believe. He yeah. restarted that from, promo five yeah. times from this moment. And starting this moment from moment. now, <laughs> from this moment, moment on, now this will be the moment. <laughs> Wait, starting now <laughs> of the genesis oh of the Cody. <laughs> Oh, right. oh my god! What a 
fucking horrible yeah. name, by the way, for Kurt Michael Henning's son. Michael McGillicuddy. Michael McGillicuddy. Mr. Mr. Perfect son yeah. is Michael McGillicuddy. Yeah. yeah, why couldn't he just be Kurt, Kurt Henning? Henning? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. His dad was rolling in his grave when he announced oh that God. name. Jesus. Horrible. All right, so this one is going up against uh, Hulk Hogan. Yeah. And this is from uh, WrestleMania 30. Yes. Uh, his delicious promo... <laughs> Uh, in the uh, the Superdome, he got a little confused. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this Grandpa is, Hogan. Yeah. This is so relevant. They made fun of it this year. Yes, <laughs> and then he messed up again. And then he messed up again. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I know it's not the Silver Dome. We're at the MetLife Center. No, <laughs> no, we're not. No, we are not. You have both of those combined, right? <laughs> I should. Does this look like the center for anything? It's a fucking giant stadium, right? Jesus. The MetLife Center. All right, All right here we go. Silver Dome. First off. I'd like to welcome everyone here at the Silverdome to WrestleMania 30. Everybody in the WWE Universe and everybody that's watching the WWE Network <laughs> to, crit, to tear the roof off this place right here in New Orleans, Louisiana, brother. Hulk thinks he's back at WrestleMania 3. <laughs> what an idiot. All right. You know, I was there for the very first WrestleMania right in Madison Square Garden where me and Mr. T beat Rowdy Roddy Piper and Paul Orndorff. That was just the beginning. And then fast forward 30 years later, WrestleMania 30, right here in the Silverdome. I can't believe I'm the special host here for WrestleMania. He doesn't know what's going on. No. And he's like, we're figuring it out. I'm sorry, it is the Superdome, brothers. There you go. Yeah. There you go. And also, he He's said, like, "What the fuck did I do? What the fuck did I do?" With the... Oh, wouldn't you yeah. fast forward twenty nine years later for it to be WrestleMania thirty? Yeah, don't even course. go there. Don't even go there. Come on, nah. Because they even they do the math wrong. They, yeah, they do that. Do. The twenty five year anniversary of of WrestleMania. Yeah. No, it's the twenty fourth anniversary because yes. the first one was yes, one. I know. The first one wasn't zero. Yeah, WrestleMania zero zero. <laughs> Um, this is a tough one uh, as well because yeah. this was WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like it's a bigger deal because it, it was at WrestleMania, right? I mean, let's just take a moment to uh, God, it's you know, a tough start one. thinking about this moment. <laughs> and uh, it was so, I mean, it was so bad, both the of first them. one, but I don't know. I think Hogan gets it because yeah. you can't fuck up at WrestleMania. You can't fuck up at WrestleMania, and you fucked up like. You, when you're, okay, it's your me, city, right? I mean, a lot of people come from all over. Right. But the majority of people are from New Orleans. At, exactly. At WrestleMania in New Orleans, yeah. you yeah. think, right? You can't mess up the city's, like, largest landmark. No. You know what L I mean? Let me, let me play a little devil's advocate here. And I don't even know what I would pick necessarily, but... I will say it did make for a really funny segment because then Stone Cold came out and he's like, great to be here at the Silver Dome. And then he just looks right at Hogan like, you fucking idiot. Yeah. And then Rock comes out and he does the Silver Dome joke. And then finally at the end, Hogan's like, well, I'm glad that we're all here at the Super Dome. Super Dome. Yeah. You so least, dumb shit. Yeah. At least it became something yeah. funny and you know that you right. could laugh about. Um, yeah, but only because of a fuck up, though. Right, due exactly. to a major fuck up, it was only funny because what two other guys could have made two it other fun. guys rubbed it right. in his face. But basically. Stone Cold and The Rock, those are the only two that could have turned it into something. Yeah, right? yeah. okay. So I'm gonna say Hulk. I'm gonna go Hulk too. All right, let's yeah. do it. Hulk, Hulk. Okay, let's see who's Hulk turn. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I talked about it. Mike Adam A. Adam Lee. Adam Lee. Adam Lee. <laughs> Right. My, I mean, who the hell knows who this guy was? He did American Gladiator for five minutes. He botched minutes, his own name. And then he did WWE for five minutes. Yeah. Um, I thought it was an he, I. He, he had a, a lot of botches, um, but this was probably his most famous one. Yeah. Everyone in anticipation of tonight's Royal Rumble here. Another man who's been waiting anxiously with anticipation. His name is Jeff Harvey. <laughs> Gee, there's like seven in Jeff there if you Harvey. listen closely. Just for Harvey. Jeff Harvey. Yeah. Right. Dent. All right. And then we have, uh, if this is it. Booker T. Um, yeah. Booker T. What promo did he do? I don't know. Just play it. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me tell you something, Chino. Can you out here talking about a click? The only click you need to know about is the Harlem Heat and Sister Sherry. See, because what you're dealing with here is the brotherhood. It's nonstop from this point on in WCW. We take what 
what we want. And after we take Lex Luger and the job, we want the gold sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. I should point out for the record, Stevie Ray, look at this. Take a look. We're talking about the rack, the torture rack of Lex Luger. <laughs> what did he say? I don't know. I think he said, I <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Play back I, that I little last how, part. I love how Mean Gene the... just like moves on. Right. And like how Sherry's <laughs> like, it's okay. Yeah. And like Booger T puts his hands in his face. Like, yeah. oh my God. God. Even Sherry's professional. You, professional. She's like, don't worry about it. I should point out for the record, Stevie Ray, look at this. Take a look. Hold on. We're talking about the rack, the torture rack of Lex Luger. <laughs> sucker? I think he said sucker. Oh, okay. No, he said, I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up. <laughs> Sherry's like eyes like go back. She's like, wait, what? <laughs> what did he say? And he's like, oh. And then he, he puts his hand on his hand, and then he starts rubbing his hands Why like, not for the record, yeah. Stevie Ray, look at this. Take a look. Um, so, yeah, that wins. I mean, of course. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Booker T yeah. is going through there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So for the next matchup, mm. we've got the late, great Owen Hart. Yes. Mm. Let's. Uh, wh- where is this from? This is from the Royal Rumble 1994. This is when he turned on his brother, Brett. Oh, okay. And this was his explanation after he, uh, after he kicked his brother's leg after they lost their tag team match. Uh-huh. You just want to put your sharpshooter on. I could have won the match. I don't need you with a bad leg doing it, Brett. You're too damn selfish. And that's why you're sitting there with a bad leg. And that's why I kicked your leg out of your leg. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Kicked your leg out of your leg. Yeah. Jeez, man. Mm. That's brutal. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here we're going. He's going to be going against Scott Steiner. Uh, this is from Impact. This, yeah, Impact Wrestling. This, this is his famous uh, math promo. Yeah. Sacrifice. Uh, the Sacrifice pay per view from uh, 2008. Or he's hyping that pay per view. Yeah. Right. Uh, here we go. You know, they say all men are created equal. But you look at me and you look at Small Joe and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally if you go one-on-one with another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beating me. And then you add Kurt Angle to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. See, the three-way at sacrifice, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I, I got a 66 and two-thirds chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me, and he's not even going to try. So, Small Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance minus my 25% chance, oh God. and you got an 8 and a third chance of winning <laughs> at sacrifice. But then you take my 75% chance of winning if we used to go one on one and then add 66 and two thirds percents, <laughs> I got 141 and two thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. See, Joe. The numbers don't lie. Yeah, they do. And no. they spell disaster for you as sacrifice. <laughs> my my brain hurts. Wait. A uh, hundred and thirty something chance. I think the girl holding the title went cross eyed trying First to figure all, Who is out. that tall giant girl? Yeah, Let's, I don't know. And then who's the little guy? I have no idea. Uh is the girl didn't she used to be in WWE like she won a season of Tough Enough yeah, and they no never idea. used her? I don't know. No she idea. managed with a little somebody? mini Scott Steiner with wearing his stuff is hilarious. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Is that Eric Young? I think his math actually works, which is, makes it even funnier. Some of that what? math was fine, like as far as when he was adding. Yeah, but it doesn't make. S- but it, I get the math adds up, but it doesn't make sense no. for what he's trying to yeah, say. Yeah, the, no. the equation adds up, but yeah. it yeah, it doesn't make sense. No. I got 141 and two thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. No. What? <laughs> Scott Steiner. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you're a sure thing. He lost, by the way. He did. <laughs> <laughs> did he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I fucked up my mouth. I forgot to carry the one. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Uh, that guy, that's got to be yeah. Owen Hart. It's got to be Scott Steiner. Yeah. Scott Steiner. Yeah. Scott is Steiner. Yeah. All, All right. right, we're going to the other side of the bracket. We've yes. got Eli Cottonwood. Uh, yes. So <laughs> is this, this an NXT person? Who, who is this guy? Yes, this is from NXT. Uh, He's huge. He did. He did not win. No. no. Uh, I think he was voted off after this promo. Yeah. yeah. And see, they kind of in this uh, in this segment they were doing, they would just give the contestants a word, and you have to cut a promo on that word. Sure. Yeah. And his word was mustache, and he just couldn't figure it out. Like, actually, McGillicuddy had to do breath, 
And like basically, he just said he's awesome, and then at the end, he's like, "I'm gonna take your breath away." And it was like, "Okay, that's how you do it." Yeah. And like uh, this guy Eli well, Cottonwood just could not. There's kind of like a who's who here. So you got uh, a yeah. Husky Harris, aka Bray Wyatt, mm-hmm. Curtis Axel. Uh, you got Percy Watson, yes, who went on to announce right. NXT. That's yes. the highlight. Many of, many years. Now later. he's no longer doing that. Right. And then you have uh, what did he go by? Low key. Co- uh, I forgot it. He, he was low key in the indies, and then he got some. It was stupid, like Kova something dumb. Yeah, and then he won, and he took a like a U.S. title shot as his prize, yeah. and, and then, then he left the company. Again. Yeah, yeah, he left the company. All right, so here we go. Eli Cottonwood. Eli, your topic is mustache. That's a dumb topic. You have man. ten seconds. Look at his face. <laughs> it's like he's like Jesus. Ready, go. What is a mustache? <laughs> it's a little bit of hair growing over the upper lip. I don't have one. You Nobody do. else here yeah. has one. He has one. But you know what? The other guys do too. A mustache for a real man. So you're not? See, of all these people here, I have the best mustache of them all. You just said you don't have I thought you'd give me a couple more days. <laughs> I'll have a nice, thick mustache. But none of these boys right here. <laughs> we'll Thank have you, Eli. <laughs> and wait, that last shot. That yeah, he where had. he's just like disappointed. Fuck. <laughs> I love, I love how he starts it. He goes, "What is a mustache?" <laughs> like an evil, <laughs> like an evil laugh, as if that's something. What is a mustache? That's, that's like what Joe would do. What's, yeah. what's a mustache? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> God, I would have won this fucking competition if I was. What is a mustache? (laughs) Improv comedy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I'm so evil that I don't know. (laughs) Even mustaches. I I don't have one. None of these guys have one. But I've got the best one out of all. (laughs) What? You have a mustache. He has a mustache. Uh, What are they doing? He has a mustache. How would they even? And who were all the guys on the stage? Like thirty guys on the stage. Those were the pros. The judges. The pros. Yes. Yeah. All right. So next up, we have a Roman Reigns sighting once again. Yes. (laughs) Um, and this was at uh, TLC, I believe. This is where it all started. The decline of Roman Reigns began. Ooh, yeah. TLC History. 2015. At this point, he was still over, and then he cut this horrible promo. He forgot his lines. He made a. It, this is where the Roman derp face started. Mm-hmm. The first time we saw the derp face. Oh, this is it. And then this was, you know, a month before he won the Rumble, where he got booed out of Philly and everyone hated him. Right. Yeah. Up until this point, he was still liked by everyone. This ruined it. Roman, uh, you made quite the impact tonight. I told the whole world last month at Survivor Series that I'd be back. But I knew I wouldn't just be back. Nah, man. I knew I'd be back to make an impact. Spearing Big Show through a table. Punching Seth Rollins in the mouth. Now that's impact. And I'm here right now to be the first man to declare at the Royal Rumble match. (laughs) You think I did damage last year? He held it too. He held it. Wait till you see what I do this year. Dirt. Now that'll be impact. Believe that. Oh my god. He fucking held it. Yeah. He did a dirt face and held it. (laughs) (laughs) He held it. He holds it. Can that be the picture for this bracket? (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) Oh my god. It's Man, they uh this is another Uh, tough one. It is. Yeah. Mm. It really is. Like I think mustache is worse, but like no. He kind of got fucked on that anyway. But right, yeah, I gotta give it to unfair. this. How do you cut a promo on a must- about mustaches? Yeah. I, I, I think this has to be Roman. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So. I'm glad you guys are, are more uh, deciding on this, because I can't... It's hard for me to decide on some of these. <laughs> that one's tough. There, no, it's yeah. very hard. I just think Roman's had just... It was bigger. Right. Yeah. So much more, but still, public. But still, what is a mustache? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, all right. So the next matchup, we've got Lex Luger, mm. and uh, this is from Super Brawl Saturday. This is a wrestling promotion that was called Cyberspace Wrestling. 
Um, it's not around anymore. No, uh, go figure. <laughs> this is from 2005, Yikes. and they're hyping Super Bowl Saturday, and he doesn't even know what the fuck the pay per view's called, and he's actually supposed to go up against Ron Killings. Uh, in real life, Lex Luger pulled out due to injury or something, and the match never happened, but mm. this is amazing. Mr. Luger, Mr. Luger, I saw what just happened out there with Ron Killens. I just want to ask you, I mean, what are your plans for the next show, Super Bowl Saturday? I mean, are you, are you going to take care of Ron Killens? What kind of disgusting, despi- despicable <sighs> lack of respect does that Billy What's-His-Name show book at a match for the total package of Lex Luger and Super Brawl? Super Saturday? What is it? I don't even know what it's called. What is it called? Super Brawl Saturday. Super Brawl Saturday? <laughs> Can you afford to pay me to wrestle run? I don't know. I'm one of the biggest legends and stars ever in this. God. Pull off your shirt. Good move. And your teeth are too tight too, Billy. Oh and you book a match with me against Ryan Killings. Look at me. I'm a total package. I will rip him apart. I'm pissed now. <laughs> wait, wait. I don't think I. <laughs> the door's locked too. Oh my god! There were like seven fuck ups in that promo. Oh, that at least, awesome. and the best is when he looks right in the camera and goes, "Super Bowl Saturday, Super Bowl." The spill. Book it a match for the total package, Lex Luger and Super Brawl. Hold on. Super Saturday. What is it? I don't even know what it's called. What is it called? Super Brawl Saturday. Super Brawl Saturday. Pause it right there. <laughs> <laughs> is it just me or does he look like William H. Macy? God, he does. <laughs> Super Brawl Saturday? He's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's see if uh, we've got any competition. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Jesus. My God. All right, so this next one is Michael Buffer. So he was the announcer for WCW. Yes. Uh, he was there with Lillian Garcia. For the main event. <laughs> yeah. And this is uh, him botching a name. When was this? I don't know what year, Okay, but uh, you figure it out. Bret Hart was there. It's about Bret Hart. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the WCW Monday Nitro main event. Tonight, here in the Twin Cities of Minnesota, a special heavyweight eliminator match. The winner of this match will go on to Super Brawl on Sunday, February 21st. To face the reigning United States heavyweight champion, Brett Hitman Clark. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> nope. Oh, my God. We're Brett not ready. Hit- <laughs> Brett the Hitman Clark. I guess WWE owned <laughs> Bret Hart, so he had to. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You don't know. I mean, he had that job for a while. Yeah. Yes. You don't know who Bret Hart is? Are you that fucking into yourself that you can't even learn who the wrestlers are there that are there? Oh my God! Wow, Brett Hitman Clark. <laughs> Brett Hitman Clark. Right. Brett Look, Hitman Clark. That that was funny, but it Lex Luger. Yeah, I mean, it's I not mean, even close. But yeah. nice putting Super Brawls together. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Lex. Lex is moving forward. Yeah. Yes. I wonder if that Super Brawl Sunday was after Super Brawl Saturday. <laughs> right. Probably. Yeah. Right. All right. So uh, yeah, we have uh, Scott Steiner, Italian. This is Scott Steiner again. This was in WCW, uh, and he butches some Italian. <laughs> Take a, oh God! Here we go. Booker T at Mayhem. I'm going to look at you, and I'm going to look at the whole world, and I'm going to say Vinny Vinny Fucci. <laughs> Who? Huh? Who? Is that... <laughs> and I know that's not in your Ebonics handbook. And I know none of these white trash know what it means. <laughs> no one knows what it means. <laughs> but at far at, at mayhem, <laughs> I'm gonna give you the same thing I gave Sting. Herpes. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. He almost said fall brawl. He oh did. My He's God. like at fall. What fucking pay per view was it? Mayhem! <laughs> Stargate! You gotta do that one again. Imagine the beat! I'm gonna look at the whole world and I'm gonna say Vinny and Vinny Vucci. You stupid motherfucker! Vinny, Vinny Vucci. What the fuck is he talking about? And then he's like, and then he's like I know none of you know what that means. Who's he fighting? Handbook. Booker T, Ebonics Handbook. Yeah. Wait, go, and what does Vinny Vinny Vucci mean then? <laughs> He's fighting Booker T. 
So he's fighting an Italian guy. What the fuck is go, he doing? Go back a smidge. Like right <laughs> after he says it, he's just like, "Fuck." Fucci. Who? Shit. <laughs> Who's the tablet. announcer that goes, who? Yeah. <laughs> and I know none of these white trash Hold on. know what it means. No one does. <laughs> but have thought it at mayhem. No. <laughs> no. At, at mayhem. <laughs> Fuck. Steiner, no. Oh, no. Well, that's really bad. Let's see if something can compete with it. Mean Gene? Yes. Damn. So uh, this um, this is Mean Gene. The professional's professional. When right. he uh, he dropped an f bomb at SummerSlam 1989 <laughs> oh, when the God. when the sign fell down. Yeah. And this what they you know this was a pre-taped segment, but they accidentally aired oh, the God. the blooper. Here <laughs> so we go. Weird. Gentlemen, as you know, the Ultimate Warrior. Nice Fuck it. It's publicly stated that. Damn it! Who put that up? Is that two hundred dollars an hour? <laughs> No. And they played yeah. that. It falls and he goes, fuck it. <laughs> now, be quiet for a second. Listen, you can hear Vince say, nice glue. Look at this. Oh, the ultimate warrior. Nice glue. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good shit. Oh my God. Nice glue. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, you go first. Um, I mean, yeah, it's got to be Scott Steiner. Yeah, yeah, Scott that Steiner. is yeah. Vinny, 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 Vucci. Vinny, 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 Yeah, all right. I'm so, an idiot. Mm -hmm. uh, so the next one is uh, not a wrestler, per oh. se. Uh, Jeremy Piven yeah. uh, on Montreux. Monday Night Raw. Yes. And he's there to uh, hype the biggest party of the summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so he's there. He's he was the host. I guess uh, Entourage for... was coming out, right? No, this was for that stupid car salesman movie. Yes, what? that was so bad. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. Oh boy, that's like, what this what was, was it, for. The pro or the? I don't even remember. It was so bad. Yeah. I remember hating it so much, and I remember being excited for it because it, it had a lot of people in it. Even Catherine like Will, Hahn? I think even Will Ferrell had a cameo in it or something. Really? The, the, it's it's not all bad. The beginning where he's on the plane is kind of funny. Yeah, I don't really remember. That's like, who the fuck are you? I don't it's remember that actress. Him. Yeah, Kristen Kahn or whatever her name is. Yeah, I don't remember a lot of that movie, but uh, this was uh, August third, two thousand nine, and uh, yeah, like you said, the hype in the biggest show of the summer with uh, Miz and Cena in the ring, and then what's his face from Ken Hangover? Jong? Yeah. Oh my All right, god! Here we go. This is great. Tonight, the two of you will fight, so that you cannot run or hide in a lumberjack match. Yeah. <laughs> wow. A lumberjack match. That's bold. And then I tell you what. <laughs> when all you guys go back to L.A., your home turf, and if you lose, yeah. we will ban you from the Summerfest. He'll be banned from SummerSlam, is what you're saying. SummerSlam. Summer slammed out. So wait a second. And Summerfest, the, whatever that is. The biggest <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny save, yeah. Yeah. What's funny <laughs> is here in Houston, there was a concert called Summerfest. Yeah. So I guess Miz couldn't go to it. He couldn't go to that no. or SummerSlam. Yeah. No, he lives with us. I don't know. This is what, like, you know, That's it gets what, annoying when they have celebrities on that. That's when they were doing it every week. Every week. And guess thank, those, oh, guess by those. the way, by the way, thanks, Trump. That whole got that whole thing got started when Trump bought Raw. He's like, we're gonna have a guest host every week. Well, the only good one was, was the first there, one. Was well, no, but Seth he said Green. that. I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. yeah, right. The only good one was was Seth Green. But it's like this is when you, you shouldn't be having celebrities on unless they're wrestling fans, right? You don't even know what the fuck SummerSlam is. Yeah, and you can't rehearse your lines, Jeremy Piven. Come yeah, on. come on, you're, you're a actor. professional actor. I mean, yeah. he knew what a lumberjack match was. He didn't mess that up. No, <laughs> right. All right, so this is going against Kevin Nash. This is from Monday Night Nitro. This was his debut. Oh. <gasps> the outside. You know what the mess up oh, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. He's, uh, you know, it's when Scott Hall uh, shows up to, you know, Eric Bischoff and he points and Kevin Nash is there. This is where the big boys play, huh? Look at the adjective play. We ain't here to play. Look at the adjective <laughs> play. Plays. Is a verb. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this one's tough. Neither are really that great. Yeah, but this was Kevin Nash's debut. 
Yeah. Right. On Nitro and he fucked up. Yeah. That's true. And he probably thought he was being like genius right there. Like, you know. I don't the know. adjective. Play. Um, what are you thinking? Jeremy Piven's. I'm not- thinking. Oh, man. Yeah, neither one of them are great, <gasps> but I, I think I'd lean Piven. Because you're throwing a celebrity up there, and you're like, SummerSlam. You got it? Yeah, SummerSlam. You got it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I got Say it. Say it to me. SummerSlam. Summer Slam. <laughs> Summer <fast>. No. no. <laughs> SummerSlam. We slam, because yeah. we're wrestlers. We slam in the summer. I would lean Piven in a coin toss. I would say, uh, I would say Nash. Ooh. Because, so first, uh, like, because right. it's his, it was his debut. on. It's the first time you see him on Nitro, right. and he just he looks stupid see, there. See, and that's a good point, but like at the same at the same time, Jeremy Piven is a professional actor. Yeah. You learn lines. Yeah. Right. You had one job. Yeah. Oh, this is tough. This um, is getting its ass kicked by Scott Steiner in the next round, so just pick something. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll go Jeremy Piven. All right. Piven All right, yeah. Through. Piven's going through. All right, so Zandig? Really? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you remember this guy? Yeah. <laughs> no. This is from uh, CZW, which isn't that where Ambrose uh, first started out? Uh, I yeah, think, think so. It, it's one of the yeah. hardcore, you know, wrestling <clears throat> right. promotions. Super cheap. I think this is from like 2009. Yeah. But uh, this is so cringe uh, you know, worthy and, and horrible. Right. Here we go. This is Robbie Marino, CZW with Zandig. Oh my God, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> what do you mean, what happened? What are you blind? Jesus! There was five of them! It took five of them! Justice Payne! Oh. Hate Club! Oh, I thought Hate Club's dead! Nick Gage! Nate Hatred! Who do you think you are? Nobody does this to Zandig! Nobody does this to the wife beater! Zandig, wife beater, Nick Mondo! We are the most ultraviolet force on the face of the earth! Oh my! Oh! Yo, you're gonna die! <laughs> You are gonna die! I guarantee it! I am gonna kill you! Um, Stoa! You people have not seen anything! This is just the start of fake you TV! I am the ultraviolet icon! This is Robbie Marino! Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is CZW, the most violent federation on the face of the earth! You just wait and see how far we're going to go. I'm out of here. <sighs> the guy's face is like, huh? Jesus! <laughs> that was a colossal Jesus! Thing. Oh, my God. Like, how, wait, there's no director for this going, no, goes, cut it now. Just- how dare you do that to me? How dare you do that to the wife beater? Yeah, right. What? He goes, you're going to die. I'm going to murder you. Yeah. I'm, uh, this isn't even a promo. I'm going to fucking kill you. Oh and what you can't God. see is like he pours water all over himself towards the end, which makes no sense. And he's just like, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, this, that's tough to beat as well, but this is going up against one of my favorite screw-ups of all time. Yeah. yeah. Sid, welcome back. Here we go. Sid, I've got a question for you. We all know that you can bring the heavy offense, but there are a lot of skeptics that think that perhaps you can't take it, that uh, you can't take the punishment that Diesel will give you tonight. How do you address those skeptics? Well, the st- skeptics and all the people have a little bit of... Let me do this again. Oh, it's live, Hal. Sorry. If anybody has any doubt, we'll get their answer tonight. Well, there you hear it, a man. A few words, Psycho said. Back to you, Todd. <laughs> Oh, just that look of disappointment. Like, yeah. Just not yeah. knowing your live right. yes. is such a screw up in professional wrestling. <laughs> yeah, come on. But you had to go throw it up against this crazy, know, amazing, see, I, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, it was it was random. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. I don't know, guys. I, I mean, I love Sid. I love the screw up so much. Not I knowing mean, the, your live. The Sid screw up's worse, but the Zandig is so. I'm, so I'm funny. going Zandig. Funny. Oh man, I'm going Zandig. Andrew. <laughs> Neither one of us want to it's make this weird call. Because, well, this happens every bracket right. where where someone loses in the first round that shouldn't. Yeah. Yes. And I think this is it. Yeah. I'm going Zandig. Thank you. It's okay. fucking amazing. Who are you going, Joe? Well, I mean, I have no problem. Uh, I'm abstaining, so 2-0 <laughs> Zandig. I love I, love I want you to segment. say Sid just so I could go, Jesus! Yeah, yeah, sorry. Well, at least Sid's still in there. 
He's, yeah. he, he won yeah. the other one, so he's. Still I probably would have picked Sid just because it's Better great. Pen over Happened there. on uh, live TV. Yeah, here you go. I have some more pens. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Let me know if any of those work. Z- Jubilee of pens. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, next up, we have Hulk Hogan. This is his promo on SmackDown back in the day. This is when SmackDown was taped, but people who were able to hack into the live feed. Because they edited all this out. Right. But the people got the live feed so that really? we could actually see this. It's really? amazing. And this is when Hulk Hogan and Vince are having their feud on SmackDown before the WrestleMania match. Uh, and this is, you know, we've played this before. <laughs> if you actually think, if you actually think I was just the right guy at the right place at the, raw, at the right time. Let me say it one more time so you completely understand, McMahon. Oh, God. If you actually believe in your mind, if you actually think that I was just the right guy (laughs) at the right place at the right time, well, then you're a bigger delusional bastard than I thought you were, McMahon. Son of a bitch. I fucked it up. That's all he's thinking. And you know something? I had a match with you a couple of... I had a... Nope. You know what I say right now, McMahon? Right now, we just settled this because I had a match with a rock a couple of weeks ago. With a rock. With a rock. And you were the one that I wanted to get in the ring. You were the one that I was supposed to have a match with a couple of weeks ago. He's smiling. And you put the rock in your place, brother. I had a match with a rock. The they rock. had to edit, edit out like 20 minutes of footage. Let me <laughs> say this. One that was more a two-hour time. promo. He messed up like five times. Yeah. It's so good. All right. <laughs> Who's he going up against? Uh, he is going up against The Miz. This was Miz's first appearance on Raw, I think on WWE television, period. Oh, oh he was when they were the doing Diva The search. Diva Search. And he messes this up so bad that you have to think... Like, why did they even give him another shot? Right. You would think, this is it. Like, you fucking ruined this. You're done. You ruined this. Right. Here we go. No. Well, what year was this? I think 2006. Yeah, 2006. This was wow. the Diva search. And it's actually funny because Maurice was in this Diva search. Oh, oh yeah. That's, how, that's when they first met. Yeah. Here we oh, go. Oh, yeah, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> such a shit. <laughs> That was such a funny comment. Oh, thank you, Eric. I can't wait till we do the bracket of Joe ragging on Eric. Oh, my God. Oh, come Dude, on. there's at least 32 of those. Oh, come on. You're way worse on Eric than I am. I don't we know. We both treat him like shit. <laughs> Maybe just... We we'll just... have to do two separate brackets. And then, and then the winners of each bracket. Combine them. <laughs> and then when Andrew picks the winner, I mean, when Eric picks the winner, we're both like, fuck you, that's not the winner. What an idiot. Yeah. Pizza, you know, you know left what? side is Joe, right well, side yeah. is Andrew. <laughs> right, pizza would be on there. Yeah, and then when you, when you, uh, when I, it was the same thing, the diva bracket uh-huh. when you wanted to sing the sunny song, but I kept interrupting you. <laughs> yeah. I know you want me. Oh God! All right, back oh, to the Miz. God. Here we go, Miz Diva. Now search. everyone's gonna ask for that bracket. You know that, yeah, right? Of course. Now we all know that the sexiest women in the world. or or the sexiest women on television are in the WWE. And tonight, we're gonna search for the next WWE diva. Now to vote for these beautiful young ladies, you have to vote, go to, to, (laughs) go to uh, to, uh, WWE, dial 86946, and vote for your favorite diva search contestant and text message. Your favorite diva search girl. And Tab, do her name. Tab, do her name. Oh, do her name. Tab, do her name. Do her, and then text her name. <laughs> do her name. Do her name. So he messed up like six times. Seventeen. Hogan messed up six times. Mm. It's very close. Right. So you almost kind of want to go easy on the Miz because you know this is his first time on TV, and. At True. this point, Hogan's a veteran, but Hogan is notorious for botching his lines. And he's get, and you have to give Hogan a little excuse, too, because he's so old there. Yeah. You know, he's forgetting his lines and screwing I, up. I think I could go Miz here. Really? Oh, I thought you were going to go. This that was is tough. Surf. I don't know. It is. I know I Hogan's <laughs> Hogan's on there twice already, you know. Look, the I mean, finals are going to come down to Hogan wait, versus did Hogan, Hogan. Did Hogan go through the last two? Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that... Um, to me, this is like a clear winner. The Miz 
It sounded like it was all just messed up, which is probably why they didn't fire him for it. They probably gave him some last minute stuff to do. Right. Yeah. Who well, voted he even looked for at this? the you guys screen? Vote? Nobody voted. No, no. no. He even <laughs> looked at the screen expecting it to be up there on the Titan. He almost acted like they barely put this together. Yeah. And no one told it's me. It's so funny. Right. But it's also so funny, too, because when they come out, like eight girls come out, and it's just. It's just they were not looking for female wrestlers back then. Right, no. right. It's, it's just these hot, eight models come things. out and they're dressed all slutty and they're just like touching themselves the whole time. They're like, vote for me. Oh. It's just like, yeah. wait, what, what the hell is yeah. going on? Vote for me. Love me. I'm going to say Hulk. Um, what you got, Andrew? I'm going to go Hulk as well. Hogan? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Like, for, because he's like, I'm going to start over because it's SmackDown and we're going to edit this. And then he screws up again yeah. and, and, calls again. Him, and calls himself the right gay guy. Yeah. Right? Do you have uh, Kyrie saying, like, Hogan screws up <laughs> again, yeah. again? Seriously. Uh, uh, I mean, it's going to be a tough call next round for either. It really though, is. So. My God. Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, yeah, so uh, Ric Flair is making the bracket uh, toward the end of the first round. Yes. Let's see what so, he has This is say. like the one mess up he ever had, right? I yeah. mean, it's not. <laughs> he talks it's, so crazy. It's, it's yeah. kind of a mess up, but it's 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 so fucking great. This is SmackDown 2016 when he was on uh, what was Dean Ambrose's show called? Uh, Ambrose Asylum. The, Luna the, Asylum. Yeah, the, Ambrose Asylum. And uh, we had Ambrose, Natalia, with Ric Flair and Charlotte Flair. And Natalia said like Bret Hart's better. I don't have the whole thing because this didn't air either. Because they cut this out because of what Ric Flair says. No. But, um, Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I but uh, she said, like, Bret Hart's better than Ric Flair, and this is how Ric Flair responds. It's like he got offended for real. Yeah. Here we go. He tells Natalia to kill herself. And then watch again. Look how, look at Ambrose. He laughs his ass off. Wait. <laughs> Can I see Charlotte's face yep. face when kill yourself? Kill yourself. Be out of your mind. Yeah, her smile goes her away. Her smile goes away <laughs> and she oh stops clapping. God. Kill yourself. What did you say? Oh my god. You think you think you better than uh, I'm not better than Bret Hart? Kill yourself. <laughs> you think you're better than Bret Hart? Kill yourself. <laughs> I think what I love the most is just Ambrose left, right? Yeah. And Charlotte like <laughs> Especially after <laughs> Ambrose's interview with Jericho and all that. Like, he yeah. must have loved how horrible this went. Oh, yeah. Like, right. oh, my God, this is fucking great. So he's going up against Ken Patera. Do you guys even remember who this is? No. Eric, you remember Ken Patera? Mm-mm. He was, like, the world's strongest man before that was a thing. Oh, really? Like, he would, like, on TV, like, break, like, weightlifting records and So he was the original and, Mark Henry. Kind of, yeah. yeah. But he's a white guy with a ton of white hair. It looks ridiculous. Well, his hair this, changed this from white to dark. This is why he dark. still had black hair. Okay, okay. I guess this was the 80s. Yeah, he, went, um, he changed his hair color a few times. Yeah, this, was, this is really bad. Over the past couple of years, you've had to overcome some tremendous personal difficulties. You've done so. You've, you've paid your debt to society, so to speak. And right now, you have ongoing problems with Bobby the Brain Heenan and virtually every member of his family, Ken. That's right. The weasel has come to the point that the conspiracy is completely out of hand. He turned his gang of henchmen on me, his goon squad, King Kong Bundy, King Harley Race, Hercules Hernandez, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. Yeah, I've been humiliated before, but I'm so humiliated right now, I'm afraid to turn my back. I don't want the people to see what happened to me. They whipped me like a dirty yard dog. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Weasel, and the goon squad. I can take pain. I can recover. recover. I can recuperate. Well, I'm beyond that. I am so upset at the, the actions that are going on in the World Wrestling Federation, especially from your so-called family, that it's just a matter of time. Like I said before, and I said it to you, Mean Gene, I've said it to everybody, it's just a matter of time when Ken Patera gets in full gear and runs the World Wrestling Federation, or rids the World Wrestling Federation of the likes of you, Weasel, and King Kong, Bundy, Race, Hercules, one, uh, Orndorff, all of you. You're all going to go down one by one, and I'm going to make sure of that. For the whipping that you gave me, whip me like a red-headed, red-headed stepson, I'm sick and tired of that type of treatment. And when I get ready, <laughs> when I'm in full gear, 
Heenan, Weasel, whatever you guys want to do, <laughs> just bring it on, because I'm not going anywhere. Camp. Like I say, I'm going to carry these scars for a while, but I do heal, and I heal well. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he is in full gear. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you something. Mean Gene laughing. Mean Gene laughing made that whole thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. He's like, right. oh, God, this is terrible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this wins over Flair's comment. You think? Yeah. It, it does. It does. Yeah. It's like two it's minutes so of bad. him it's fucking terrible. up. Yeah. Where it's, I'm going to run the world wrestling. I mean... I'm going to rid the world wrestling from oh You whipped me like and a red... Like, he's oh like, God. you whipped me like a red-headed... I mean, a red-headed stepson. Yeah. Sun-headed red dog. Yeah. Stepson. Stepson. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. All right. So the last one that we have, first round, last yeah. first round matchup, is Randy Orton. This mm. is from Monday Night Raw 2013. Uh, and again, uh, if you're listening, you know I, I suggest you watch it because I'm going to show the clips on the video, on you know the video clip, the video podcast. Um, but this one's more visual because Randy forgets his line, and he just straight up asks Seamus, "What's like? What's my line?" Really? Like he, he puts the microphone down, but you could read his lips and everything. You're out here pleading your case and practically begging for support. He forgot his line here. He's thinking. And then he says, fuck it. I'll just ask Seamus. <laughs> I'm not sure Seamus knew that. Big Show's mine tonight. <laughs> Oh my god! He should have given him the wrong line, dude. Just fucking say anything. Like that was the beginning of his promo, and then he just ended it. Like yeah. he didn't know, didn't look like Seamus wow. knew. What's my line? Yeah. What's my line? He's like, you know, you're out here looking for sympathy. Big show's mine tonight. Like yeah, you know, yeah, it's just yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> oh, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Saying pretty what's bad. my. He's like, I don't know line. something about Big Show. You're fighting him, right? All right. So this is going against oh. probably the most Man. iconic. Fuck ups, botches, anything. Yeah. This is the debut of the Shockmaster. This is uh, 1993. Yes. At Clash of Champions 24. Yeah. Here we go. It seems to me if you was as smart as you act like you are, you wouldn't have waited this close to war games. To tell everybody who your partner is. Well, do you want me to tell hey, you what I'm talking? No, you shut shut up. Up. I'm talking. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Who else is your partner? Is? Come on, Sting. 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 Our partner is going to shock the world because he is none other than the Shock Master! Right. The Shock Master! I told you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. What is the sound of I don't care who you are, boss! I don't give a damn who you are! You're gonna have us! You're gonna have Van Vader! And we're gonna be breathing to you again! So you're the man that rules the world. They call me the Shockmaster. Look at the glitter all over you his chest! You the world long enough, Sid Vicious. Get ready. Come on, you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? Come and get me. Come after me, Sid. I'm ready. Along with Davy Boy, Sting, and Dusty Rhodes, we'll see you at the Fall Brawl at the War Games. Until then. <laughs> they'll have to look. They'll have to act afraid of this guy who just fell through the fucking wall. Now we're gonna go back and. Because there's some Easter eggs in this oh, that you wow. have to listen for. Well, I saw. Well, I saw that there's a maid there for some reason, which I think that's Wendy Barlow, who is now Ric Flair's wife. Okay, well really? she yeah. leaves, there's and Flair maid? goes after her. Right, I to thought go Flair was her. gonna go. 
No, he did. He left the segment. Yeah. So <laughs> he falls through, and then you could hear uh, Sid go, I told you, oh, God, because later in um, interviews, Sid said he knew he was going to fall because there was like a two-by-four that he didn't know about. Jesus. And so he, he knew he was going to fall. It. Yeah. I told you. I told you. <laughs> And then listen, oh, the, ne God. the next thing you hear someone backstage go, what did he fall? What, oh, listen. my God. <laughs> what did he fall? What, who's, who's live mic'd backstage? Well, because the guy, the guy that's doing the Shockmaster Pot voice. that down until has... they're ready. Well, come, okay, first of all, let's talk about the Shockmaster. This guy has a Stormtrooper helmet on. Storm covered trooper. in glitter. Covered in glitter. In glitter. They got it at like a fucking party city. Yeah. And uh, and then he just has this fucking stupid jacket. He's a fat it's guy like a with, with jeans and boots. Acid wash jeans. And he's supposed to be from another planet. Yeah. So was he gonna wrestle in the helmet? Yes. The helmet falls off. How are you gonna wrestle in the helmet? Yeah. This was Dusty Rhodes' uh, creation, his worst creation of all time. Really? Okay. So that's where we are. What did he fall? Now you could hear British Bulldog go. He fell riding his fucking ass. <laughs> Listen. Oh, first you can hear it was uh, either Booker T or Steve Ray go, look at this motherfucker. Oh, really? Watch, listen. Oh, look, at this motherfucker. look at this motherfucker. Oh, my God. And then Why next. It's all like over next microphone. <laughs> next, listen for British Bulldog. So yep. Oh, so <laughs> oh my God. He, he fell flat in his twice. fucking ass. <laughs> like he fell on his ass. <laughs> And then, and then right after this, the guy that's talking for the Shockmaster, whoever it is, he starts laughing before he starts the promo. He's like, <laughs> come on. Like, and listen. like, he's huh? acting like yeah, the Sid's, promo is happening. Sid's right. yelling. So like, Sid's yelling and he thinks that's him because he also can't see through this fucking mask. He doesn't know what's going on. But here we go. You are, you listen, listen. Did you hear the laugh? Yeah. No, one more time. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going back. You're going to be a beta, and we're going to be breathing to your neck. <laughs> so you're the man that rules the world. They call me. Look at this shit. The Shockmaster. Here's the thing. Like, did they get the guy who did the voice of Yoda? <laughs> me, the Shockmaster. Like, let's, let's say he didn't fall through the wall. Right. This is still... One of the worst, worst things yeah. I've ever seen. Right. Absolutely. For sure. What was Dusty Rhodes thinking and how did no one tell him this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard? Right. This is a terrible idea. Did he have that much power in WCW like then? Like Sting and Davey Boy Smith probably because he easy, could have easily beaten Harlem Heat and said <laughs> justice. Yeah, right. But they're like, no, no, we had this all-powerful being to help us. Right. From another Well, I'm galaxy, just glad he got all his bad stuff. ideas out early, and then he had only good ideas for NXT. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. All right, so that wins. Yeah, so that's um, the bracket, course. right? We're done? The Shockmaster. <laughs> yes. So let's go to round two. Um, I don't know if we have to necessarily play them again, but yeah. um, you, know, you had the Hulk Hogan going crazy. I mean, we can play them if we're just If we need stumped. to, yeah. The Hulk Hogan, uh, Saddam, Sudan... <laughs> Hussein's, Hussein's reign. reign. Yeah. And then Kalisto's complete screw up. Ooh. For me. That's tough. As a bad promo, I think Kalisto's was worse. I think so too. Like, you're so bad. You can't even say what you're going to do. Right. I'm, I'm going to do lucha things. Yeah. yeah. What? Lucha things. What the? Got them! Got them! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So Hogan didn't know the name of a guy. I mean, right, he's the that... biggest villain in the world. Right. Whatever. Yeah. But. Kalisto ruined this whole promo. Yeah, it's true. No like, one could take him serious. It, it's after true. That. Like Hogan didn't know who Saddam Hussein was. Kalisto didn't know what English who was. he was. Like who yeah. he was. Yeah. All right. Kalisto. So we'll go Kalisto. All right. What's next? All right. So the next one is uh, Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Yep. Fake thing. Versus uh, Sid. <laughs> Sid Justice talking about hey. uh, having half the brain. Right. Sid Justice. Sid Vicious. Sid. I think it was Sid. Psycho Sid? No, this was WCW. Sid oh. just Sid, Sid Vicious. It was Vicious. Yeah. Sid Vicious talking about so having stupid. half of a brain. Yeah, I mean, look, the Jeff Farmer thing was awful, but Sid literally says, I have half the brain you do. Right. The big, I mean, one of the biggest flubs in wrestling history. Ever. 
Yeah. You're an idiot. Jeff, right. Jeff, Jeff Farmer is just like, you know, this Doesn't no... know how to cut a promo. It's right. hilarious, but it's nowhere near calling yourself an idiot. Basically. Correct. Right. Sid's so, going through. Sid. Sid. Yeah. What's next? I have Roman story time. Oh, God. And then Silverdome. Like, story, story time's awful. What a terrible, terrible story. Uh-huh. But I think Silverdome is such a big screw-up. It is. That they're still talking about it today. Yeah. In this year's... But, but, but sto- that is the worst written promo I've ever heard. Magic Beans and Little yeah. Old Roman. I'm going Roman. Roman. Ooh, shit. Magic Beans. I'm going I'm gonna, Hulk. It's a, the fucking Roman and the Beanstalk? Yeah, Roman and the Beanstalk. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh. silver dome. Uh, I get it. Hulk You're in the wrong, the up. wrong arena, right? Yeah. During WrestleMania, <laughs> oh, they're both horrible. Eric tiebreaker. You know, I think, I think Romans is bad, but I think Hogan's. But this isn't Romans worst. It, this, yes, it is. <sighs> I mean, it's there not. Were, there was no dirt face. There's no uh, dirt face. It's true. This is bad. I'm, but I don't I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fault. Hogan. All right. Because how do you come out say the wrong arena twice? How do you not know where you are? Right. Where are he's we? Fucking sixty years old at that point. <laughs> it's just, so how old is everyone's he with, parents? Does that shit? Hold on. That was ten years ago. How old is he then? Now when he's sixty something. Yeah, well, yeah, no. <laughs> he's been sixty for like twenty years. He's so. ageless. Yeah. He's in his sixties. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, next we have uh, Booker T. Mm-hmm. And the famous uh, wow versus Scott Steiner's these, math. See, these should both go further. Very, very horrible promos. Oh man, yeah. these should Jeez. both be in the top eight. But unfortunately, one's getting eliminated early. You know what? I have a strong feeling about one of these. Yeah, Booker T doesn't really flub a line. It's not really a blooper. He just basically curses. He yeah. says a bad word. Yeah, he said the on worst the word, like the the. But word. it's not like he's. That's white. True. It's not like Hulk Hogan said. If Booker Hulk Hogan T. says it, it wins. This, we don't <laughs> well, have this bracket. Well, hold on. Now it's not on the bracket, but Vince said the N word on on uh, yeah, SmackDown yeah, once. Yeah. I would have put and that it was on, on it was, over Booker but Hogan T. Hogan said on, it tongue in cheek and like as a character, and he's a bad guy, and yeah, you know what I mean. Like that was almost. Booker, yeah, forced. I don't it, know. It, it's not. I, I, no, I'm going. To, tell but me. come on, no, that that is way more iconic and and known than than Steiner's math. Like they're you, both oh, for sure. They're both big, but like for sure, the Booker T one, everyone knows that one, and it's so. It's you know, it was it had shock value. Like oh, he just said that on TV, but Steiner's math left everyone scratching their head. Like, what did he just but say? But still, no one has ever called anyone the N-word in a wrestling promo. It'll never happen again. It's, Vince it's, McMahon did. <laughs> it's one of the... Well, yeah, but not on... That was on purpose. But that was almost back at a time where that was almost acceptable. No. What, no. What? When Vince or Booker said it? No, Booker back in... What was that? Like, what year was oh, that? Oh, I mean... 90s? It was 90s. not acceptable then. Right. Booker saying it Oh, has... it's in every rap song on the radio today, but it's well, not yeah, acceptable but this was, in the 90s. Well, yeah, but this was national TV. Well, yeah. national I, radio. I'm, I'm going Scott Steiner here. It has to be Booker T. This is one of the most known botches of all time. <laughs> it's on it you, to Joe. Be. Okay, we'll do Booker T. All right. Booker T. It's an All right, Eric, tell us, take us to the other side of the round. bracket. All right, so the next side of the bracket is Roman's TLC promo, complete with dirt face, uh, versus Lex Luger's oh, Saturday Super Brawl. Super, Super Bra- Brawl You know, it's Saturday. funny. They both made dirt faces in this. They, they did. did. They, they did. did. I mean, Lex Luger couldn't take off a shirt. I hate to eliminate right. Roman Reigns from this bracket right now. Like that, that would be the end of Roman Reigns moving forward. So let's but that Lex not. Luger promo was so bad. <laughs> right. It was I'm, so funny yeah, bad. Yeah, no, I'm going Lex Luger. It was yeah. so funny bad. Yeah. Yeah. That, like, you're crying laughing when you're watching And I mean, he, he messed up, like, seven times. Yeah. yeah. All let's right. Let's go, Lex. Despi- despicable. Super Brawl Saturday? Yeah. I don't know. Like, he just, every fucking line. And the line. door's locked. He, he, All right, so we got Vinny Vinny Tortellini <laughs> uh, versus Jeremy Piven. <laughs> Um, <laughs> see this to me, even though it's not as famous as the math one, I think this one's better. Like, 
Yeah. It could be. Look, it's all about matchups, Andrew, right? You've always it said is. that. Yes. Brackets are all about matchups. Yeah. Here it's a landslide. I'm going to say yeah. Vinny, 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 Vucci. Vinny, Vucci. I know it's Vinny, not in Vinny. Vinny. I know it's not in your Ebonics handbook. Yeah, it's in no one's handbook. Yeah. What does this have to do with Ebonics? You right. Just meant, you just said, like, because um, yeah. that fall. Br- Sacrifice! And I mean, uh, mayhem. Mayhem! Yeah. Yeah. All right, so here we have uh, Zandig's yeah. crazy <laughs> fucking promo where he, he tells someone he's going to murder them multiple <laughs> times, that he's literally going to end their life. Versus Hulk Hogan being the wrong gay guy. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta go Zandig on this. I mean, it's one of the funniest things. I've it's ever one heard. of the funniest things yeah. I've ever seen. Um, yeah, yeah. It's is, is, is Zandig a playoff of of Danzig? I have no That's idea. what I was thinking. Has to be right, maybe. So Zandig, Andrew, Zandig, yes, yes for sure. Yeah, that could go far, and no one's ever heard yeah. it before. Yeah, and then uh, you know Kim Patera mm-hmm. with his calm mess up versus the Shockmaster. This is what we call a landslide. Yeah, yes. round two matchup. We have Shockmaster, of course. All right, so we have our final eight: Kalisto, Sid, some big names here: Hogan, yeah. Booker T, Lex Luger, Scott Steiner. I don't know who Danzig is, and uh, <laughs> and, and Shockmaster, which includes Sting and kind of Flair. Yeah, little Sid. Right. Uh, so there you go. So, do we feel bad that we have no Roman in the top eight? A little bit, a little bit. It's a little surprising. A yeah, little bit. but yeah. it's it's. I mean, the Hulk Hogan one was. Let me see what's. I know you just read them. Um, yeah. You think you think if Roman had a better matchup, he'd be in there? Maybe. Like maybe over the Silverdome. Maybe. Yeah, I think. Well, so. he went up against the story time. Went up against Silverdome. Right with the TLC. Maybe. Yeah. It's all about matchups. Yeah. It's all about matchups. Um, all right, so what do we got first? All right, so we have Kalisto <coughs> with his terrible SmackDown debut promo. That one's going to... I mean, it, it could really go far. Yeah. It could. It's so fucking Versus bad. Sid and his half oh, a brain God. promo. This is the first one I'm truly coin toss on. Yeah. Kalisto's is terrible. It shouldn't have even been... Like, I'm surprised he wasn't fired. It was so bad. And then, you know, Sid saying, like, I've got half the brain um, is one of the biggest screw Should we play them again or wait till the next round? Maybe the so next, maybe. Final Four. All right. We, yeah. These two are so iconic in a way. They are. They're See, Sid, Sid messed up one word pretty much, or like two words, right. like one line. Where Kalisto, Kalisto's the whole thing is just... It's, a, it's like a two-minute train wreck. Yeah. Kalisto's? I th- he I'm messed going, up the whole thing. I'm going Kalisto. Like, everything he said was a fuck up. Yeah. Kalisto then? Yeah. Even Kalisto. off camera. God damn! Sweet God it. damn! Sweet I it. fucked up! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. What's next? All right, we have uh, Hogan Silverdome. Iconic. Mm-hmm. Versus Booker T's uh, other thing. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Booker which, T which, said something. I forgot. Which word is worse? A curse word? <laughs> yeah, a racial slur? What Booker or said... not knowing what stadium you're in? <laughs> what oh Booker, my God. But we're... <laughs> I think... What this, Booker T said and who he was coming for. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Booker T, he said he was coming for Hogan, and now he's fighting him in this round. And Hogan yeah. tried to throw him off, telling him he's in the Silverdome. <laughs> so Booker left for Detroit, and there he is in New Orleans. What a perfect... Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. All right. I, um, I, think it's, I think it's Booker here. I think it's Hogan here. Ooh, Ooh. Really? Ooh. This is tough. This is tough. <clears throat> Um, I'm I'm going Booker T. Mm. All right, this is the first time uh, I'm losing in this whole tournament. Really? Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've my decision has made it all the way through. Yeah. Okay, Booker T. Two yeah. out of three falls. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, Lex Luger. Oh my God, who's he going up against? Going up against Scott Steiner. <laughs> Vinny Vinny Vucci. Vinny Vinny Vucci. Holy Vinny, shit! Vinny Vinny Tortellini. <laughs> Tortellini. Vinny Tortellini. <laughs> Versus, versus, God. what is it called? <laughs> Super Saturday Showdown? <laughs> these are You're, both. Couldn't he, guys, these we've are, underplayed him not being able to get his shirt off. Yeah. And then complaining that the shirts are too tight. Yeah. <laughs> these are two of the funniest. I mean, yeah, they are. The fucking laugh out loud hysterical. I think this one has to be Lex Luger. I think it's Luger too because he messed up again like seven times. Yeah. Yep. 
And every single time was hilarious. Yeah. Lex, you're in the final four, buddy. Oh, God. This, this next one <laughs> this is, is so, so tough. much fun. Yeah, this, this next one's great. So tough. <laughs> this is a finals matchup for me in the final right. eight. The, yeah. In the Elite Eight, you've got Zandig versus Shockmaster. Holy <laughs> oh. shit. We may have to get a replay on both of these. No, they're both too long. Yeah. They are long. We're here for another hour. Um, um, look, as great as Zandig was, and here's the thing. Zandig has an advantage because it's the... I know it's the first time you guys have seen that. It's the first time I've seen all of it. Like, I've seen the clip of him going, Jesus! Yeah. Like, because it's on Botchamania. Every Botchamania, it's in the intro. Yeah. So I've always, like, seen that. And I was like, okay, I have to check this out because clearly it's bad. So I think that it has an advantage because it's new. Right. But Shockmaster is just the it's just the fucking I have to tell you something. And nope. this is like a quick Joe editorial segment here. For everyone that gets online and says indie wrestling's better than WWE. And, the, and trust me, we have a whole podcast about how bad WWE is right now. <laughs> yeah. This is what indie wrestling is. It's fucking bad promos. Mm. It's people that should never be on any kind of camera setting, right. cutting any kind of promo. This is what you watch anytime you go to an indie show. <laughs> I was watching Reality of Wrestling, the promo where some guy had like their intercontinental, their medium title, yeah. some skinny white dude, and he was awful. Mm -hmm. I was like, this guy shouldn't even be yeah. on the camera. So this is indie wrestling for you. Right. It's all of these type of promos. Now this might be worse than the bad ones. Right. But uh But Shockmaster was on a professional show. No, no, no. Shockmaster wins this, but you know, yeah. it's it's like Andrew said, it's got Easter eggs, it's got star <laughs> value, it's got like Dusty Rhodes, the creator of so many great things, yeah. created yeah. this. And it's it, and it's got Star Wars. Yeah. Uh it, <laughs> It's got it's got hot mics, hot mics <laughs> all over the arena, all over the arena. There's hot mics. Yeah, like what did the sound guy go? Fuck it, pots everything up and walks away. What did he fall? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, look you at guys, this. Then, on his look, ass. At, look at this motherfucker. You've got He's voice. On his ass. You've got voiceovers. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, shit, I'm coming for you. Like, oh my god. Ah, uh, Lord. Everything about it's just amazing. Yeah. All right. It's like, how could this have happened? How? How could this have possibly happened? Yeah. Yeah, this was... What was right. Give me a timeline on this promo. That was... You mean the, the year? What year? 93. Okay, so before WCW got really big. Yeah. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. The when was NWO? 95? I thought it was like 96. 96? Yeah. yeah. It was dead Maybe. by like 97. Was it really no, just a good 18-month no. run? It was like two years. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. anyway. NWO was around in 99. Yeah, yeah they, what version they of bring, Yeah, they kept bringing it back yeah. and splitting okay, it. Okay, so Shockmaster? Shockmaster. Shockmaster, for yeah. sure. Final four. Zandig, though, is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. But I'd, the show I'd say we have a surprise, and we have one that we kind of undervalued, and then two big ones in the final four. Yeah. Yeah. Kalisto versus... Was the big underdog, and he made it to the final four. It's right. what he does. <laughs> I mean, he has a win against Braun Strowman. He does good lucha right. things. Yeah, so we got Kalisto versus Booker T. All right, so we're going to play these again. All, All right, right, here we go. Here is Kalisto. What can we expect from you on SmackDown Live? Well, hey, I'm here, like I said before, I'm here to shock the world. I'm ready. I'm ready to show my lucha art inside and outside the ring. But first of all, I can't stop thinking about Baron, Cor Baron Corbin being on SmackDown. <laughs> I get to have my revenge. Is that a scare? Hey, like I said, I'm here to stay, make make a make a a, a good good lucha lucha thing. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> right. So from start to finish, yeah, it's just he messed horrible. up like three to three or three or four times, three or four hundred. Yeah. And then the lucha thing at the end was just the icing on the cake. Yeah. I'm gonna make a good lucha thing. It's God so damn! So incredibly bad. Yeah. yeah. Amazingly bad. Right. And it's funny that we forgot about it. That should be on more clips. It's right. so bad. Yes. Right. You like, should play that what? when uh, Lucha House Party comes out. I'm going to make a good <laughs> Lucha thing. They yeah. should have, yeah, that should have been like the gimmick. The now Lucha we'll play thing. the one that we've all heard a million times. Yeah. <laughs> we can play in our heads. Let me tell you something, Gino. Can you out here talking about a click? The only click you need to know about is the Harlem Heat and Sister Sherry. See, because what you're dealing with here is the brotherhood. It's nonstop from this point on in WCW. We take what we want. And after we take Lex Luger and the Giant, we want the gold sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. 
The, I should you know, point out, for the record, Stevie Ray, look at this. <laughs> Take a look. We're talking about the rack, the torture rack of Lex Luger. <laughs> Sucker <laughs> tries to save it with Sucker at the end. I think I saved it. Yep, I saved what it. What makes it interesting that it's that it's gotten this far even is that before he says the bad word, it's a hell of a promo. He's doing a really good promo. It's a hell right. of a promo. It's a really good promo. Yeah. He just throws in a bad word. But then... The ultimate bad word. Yeah. So that's what makes this one hard. Because Kalisto just fucks up the entire See, thing. See, I think... Kalisto's is fireable. Like, fireable. Right. Like, but no, like, but so is his. So yeah. is his Booker. Yeah. I spe- Like, if he said it today, he would be fired. Right. It was a different time back then. I, I Slightly. I'm going with Kalisto because the whole thing was a train wreck. And then even at the end, I'm gonna, I, I'm going to bring good lucha lucha things. I'm going with Booker God T. Damn! I'm going with Booker T. The first time I saw this, and I think everyone could can, can uh, attest to this and admit the first time you saw Booker T call Hulk Hogan the N word, it was like you laughed. I mean, it was like this, yeah. like you couldn't believe what you what you <laughs> what? just saw. Right. Like what? Yeah. So, like, the thing is, like Booker T's promo, it's what we just said. It was a good promo. Yeah. Until that one word. Did that, right. that aired in WCW? Yes. Wow. And it was it was live. I guess. Obviously. Yeah. 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 I think it's Kalisto. I'm, okay, you're going Kalisto. I'm going Booker T. So I'll let Joe decide. Mm. <laughs> I just think like. It's it's I don't know it's the more iconic one like it's so well known I, I get that it's but there's a, a reason deal. we do brackets there's a reason we have matchups there's a reason why opinions can change in the moment and Andrew you brought an amazing Kalisto <laughs> performance I mean that I've never known like yeah. I don't even remember that you don't remember right. that I, and it's I, we, we I roast, remember we it. roasted it on the podcast we did oh yeah yeah. yeah. I, I just don't remember. I don't know. Like, I mean, it was three years ago. Some surprise value is helping that one right now. <laughs> right. So I'm going to go Kalisto. Okay. All right. All right. Nice upset there for Kalisto. Yeah. Great job, buddy. Lucha things? Lucha things. He's going to bring Lucha things. He's a Lucha wrestler himself. He, he, is, a, he is a Lucha thing. Yeah, he is a Lucha <laughs> thing. All right. All right. So, so on the other side, too. other side is Lex Luthor. Luger. Luger. Yeah. Nice. Lex Luthor. <laughs> yeah. Superman's arch nemesis. Right. Versus, versus uh, the Shockmaster. Wrestling's arch nemesis. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Good promos, <laughs> arch nemesis. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right, All right here we go. Whoop. Whoop. Lex. Yeah. Wouldn't you kind of wish this was in WC- WWE back when The Rock was around and let him comment on it? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. You know? Here we go. Mr. Luger, Mr. Luger, I saw what just happened out there with Ron Killens. I just want to ask you, I mean, what are your plans for the next show, Super Brawl Saturday? I mean, are you, are you going to take care of Ron Killens? What kind of disgusting, despi- despicable lack of respect does that Billy What's-His-Name show book it a match for the total package like Luger and Super Brawl? Super Saturday? What is it? I don't even know what it's called. What is it called? S- Super Brawl Saturday. Super Brawl Saturday? <laughs> Can he afford to pay me to wrestle run? I don't know. <laughs> I'm one of the biggest legends and stars ever in this. God. Oh, ever in this. God. And your t shirts are too tight, too, Billy. And you book a match with me against Ryan Killings. Look at me. I'm a total package. I will rip him apart. I'm pissed now. <laughs> and the guy's laughing. I don't think I'd. Why is there a pimp interviewing? <laughs> yeah, he's like. Is uh, it Michael Hayes? What is going on? Right. It looks like Balls Mahoney a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Probably is. So he messed up like, I counted seven to eight times. Right. Seven to eight times. If there was, was ever a promo that could beat the Shockmaster, that might be it. Right. Now, that the Shockmaster is like, it's kind of every, it's almost everyone in this fucking segment. Yeah. Can I you see the very mean? beginning? Because you said Flair walks off. Uh, yeah, well, I think sure. I have, yeah. There's the background. So the maid's on the far right. Go. And then Flair. that is his wife for sure. No, it is. Yeah. It's Wendy Barlow. Go. It seems to me if you was as smart as you act like you are, you wouldn't have waited this close to war games to tell everybody who your partner is. Well, do you want me to tell you what I'm talking? No, you shut up. What I'm talking. They're all just what screaming. They're all yelling. You can't understand what anything. Is so there she goes. Yeah, I'll see you later, Sting. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Claire's freaking out in the background. He's laughing. Tell the people who the secret partner is going to be. Secret partner. All I have to say is, 
Our partner is going to shack the world. I mean, that's a horrible line. He Jesus. Is none other than horrible name. The shack Master. Right. The shack Master. Biggest botch of all time, right there. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Look at this Oh, man. 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 man. the You've ruled the world long enough, Sid Vicious. They'll... Get ready. Come on, you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? Come want a piece of me. me? Come after I me, I just fell Sid. through the wall. I'm ready. Along with Davy Boy, Sting, and Dusty Rhodes, we'll see you at the Fall Brawl at the War Games. Until then. Like, wasn't Fall Brawl and War Games two separate shows? I thought so. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so there's like ten screw-ups. Uh-huh. And that's without looking at the shock, looking at him. Looking at him, With yeah. the fucking glitter on and his chest. And fall. Seeing him Seeing fall, Flair just laughing and then the he, whole time. He, 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 look, he, he like almost looks in the camera like, did they see that? Yeah, we fucking ah, saw it. I told you. Look, he's like, and, then he, and then you see well, his face. Well, he doesn't face. even break out of the wall enough. No, because there's a two by four right and there. And there's apparently. wall. It's a wall. Like, just make it a piece of paper to walk through. Yeah, right. It looks then like there's cardboard. The helmet falls off. He has he to put the helmet the back on. He just looks like a schmuck. Like, why would anyone be afraid of this guy? I think even without the fall, this still would have been a disaster. Yeah, a disaster. no, of course. A disaster. Uh, Kevin Nash said, like, if I, was, if I was the bad guy in this segment, I would have just walked up there and beat his ass. Like, right. Because if not, I'm going to look like an idiot because I'm afraid of this guy. Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> why did he fall? Look at this motherfucker. Yeah. He fell flat on his fucking ass. Yeah. So, Shockmaster? <laughs> yeah, I think Shockmaster. Shockmaster. <clears throat> look, I mean... We, we've gone through a lot. We've seen a lot. Thank yes. you, Andrew, for putting this together. <laughs> yes. And showing me some things I'd forgotten See, that's about. See, that's the thing I think. I met, I met Zandig today. <laughs> um, I think that's the thing that always goes like unnoticed is Andrew puts all these together. Yeah. He finds these clips. Right. So he does all the legwork. A lot work, of pre-work. It's and me and Joe are just here months, to I fucking believe. laugh at <laughs> it. We first announced this two months it, ago. It, it did. So um, it took a lot of time. We appreciate that. And this has been a fun bracket. Yeah. Uh, Kalisto, little Kalisto made it to the end. He did. The finals. Yeah. With I am here. Lucha things. With my Lucha things. <laughs> not knowing shit. Uh, I mean, this. And, and it, he's going up against, really, it's, uh, it's David versus Goliath. Yeah. It is. But in this story. <laughs> yeah. Goliath wins. Yes, right. <laughs> Kalisto had a chance. If Kalisto would have tripped or fell through a wall, Kalisto would have instantly won. Yeah. Instantly. I don't know. He would and need his to do wrestling a, mask falls off. He would need to do a few more things. His wrestling mask falls off. He would have to have someone else talking for him. Right. right. And then you'd have wrestlers going, well, look at this fucking idiot lucha things. Yeah. And he would have to say, he'd have to say, imagine if they actually made him come out with a pinata. Yeah. But like, what's next? My pinata. Right. Yeah. Oh wait, they do. I, I think if Shock if Shockmaster doesn't fall through the wall, it still wins the It bracket. still wins <laughs> moving like going away. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, and like, look, I know like going into this, a lot of people thought, oh, well, obviously it's this one. But I mean, we had a lot of surprise. The the final four was a surprise. Yeah, right. I, Even the final eight was a surprise. I think, I've seen the Lex Luger promo before. Yeah, yeah. but like you know, you kind of forget about it. Right. I and think when if, I first saw you played, I'm like, ooh, that yeah. can go far. Yeah. yeah. I think if that was if they were on opposite sides, they'd be the final two. Maybe. Like Luger, if Luger was on the it's other so side, good. that would have been in the in the final it's two. So good. Yeah. It would have come down to Luger and Shockmaster. Right. For sure. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but That's no. So, so I first saw the Shockmaster. I remember the first time where I was the first time I saw it. Yeah. That's how memorable this thing was. You didn't see it live, though, right? We were one no, of no. I saw it you. like eight years later. Right, I was right. in high school. Yeah. I didn't know what it was, and I was on E Bombs World, of course. <laughs> which was YouTube before YouTube, right? And it just said like Shockmaster, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And then I watched it, and it just shows the like you know right as he gets announced and falls through. So I didn't even notice like Sting 
or you know Booker T or any of them. Yeah. I just see a guy in a Star Wars helmet fall through a wall. And at first I thought it was a joke and it was supposed to be funny and that was supposed to happen. And then I was like, okay, it's, I guess that was supposed to happen. But obviously I laughed my ass off too. But then I was like, oh, maybe this is some stupid indie show. You know what I mean? Like that's right. what it looked like. It looked like this this horrible indie show. Yeah. And it's just amazing. I was in yeah. high school. I was on the computer. I was in chemistry class. <laughs> And you had a computer in front of you? Yeah. Oh, nice. We had computers in the classroom, and I was using wow. it. You, E-bombs World. Went on E-bombs World sure. and watched it there. No that's restricted amazing. internet access. No, no. No, because <laughs> E-bombs World had some bad It did, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Before internet was really a big thing for YouTube or right. porn oh, videos yeah. or anything, like, you had E-bombs World. Yes. E-bombs so, World. It's still up, by the way. Anyway. There's your bracket, guys. Yes. Shock! Master. The number one seed pulls it off. Right. Maybe this, I think foreshadowing I think, with the hat. <laughs> I do think this stuff. is going to be a favorite um, uh, uh, video or, or slash yes. podcast of ours, only because you get to listen to all these clips and you kind right. of forget yeah. about them. Right. So I think it's a great thing for your car and, ride. And, or, you know, if, I think this is definitely one of those ones where you listen, if you listen to it first, yes. definitely go back and watch it. Watch it. Because I'm, I'm putting the video clips on the video. Oh, so, yeah. oh nice. nice. Yeah. So that's gonna it's gonna take some editing. So yeah, uh, yeah. But so um, uh, we'll be like three months older when this. Is, uh... <laughs> no, I'll get it. I'll get it out by uh, by the next week. By Christmas. This, right now right. it's June twenty second. I'll get it out next week. Okay. At some point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is cool, a lot cool. of fun. I, I knew it was gonna be fun because we're gonna be laughing our ass off the yeah. whole time. Yeah. And we did. Shockmaster, look, Shockmaster got his nose bloodied. I mean, he had to go up against Danzig. Yes. Yeah. He had to beat Lex Luger. Yeah. He had to beat, you know what I mean? It wasn't an easy path no, for Shockmaster. It wasn't. If you would have had Kalisto's bracket, he would have went through like super fast. Oh, yeah, right? easily. But he had to fight some good fights. I mean, if you think yeah. about it, Kalisto took down Hulk Hogan, yeah. Sid, yeah. and Booker T. <laughs> right. Seriously. No easy path no. for him no. either. No. <laughs> no. Surprising. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Biggest upsets for sure. <laughs> Seriously. Kalisto. Yeah. Kalisto, great job. Fucking Kalisto. Right. Yeah. Hey everyone, Andrew again. I hope you uh, enjoyed the worst promo bracket if you've never heard it before. Go ahead and go to patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. You can subscribe and you can watch the video because all of the promos are on there. You could watch along with us and uh, yeah, check out everything else. We have a second worst promo bracket. We also have the 2023 draft episode coming out this week as well as uh, Hulk Hogan's Santa with Muscles movie review. So you're going to want to check those out. Patreon.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling. I hope I see you over there. And uh, until then, have a happy new year.